Uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I appreciate your patience um, and glad that we could find a time this week to get together. Uh, really, what I wanted to share was certainly appreciation to the Kellogg Company for inviting community stakeholders, including myself and the mayor, uh, to talk through their journey to, to the new names, Kellanova and WK Kellogg Co., for their two new companies that are being formed at this particular time. You know, they, they talked about where, you know, how the names were developed and, I, you know, it was pretty cool that they did that through their employee base. They had a lot of participation in employees and, you know, in providing names to consider and, you know, they feel really good about the names that they selected. Uh, so that was great, you know, but from our, our standpoint, there's still a lot of legal things to, um, to hear about the, the actual creation legally of the two companies. Um, but for the city, what we're going to continue to focus on is certainly making Battle Creek a destination of choice for Kellogg's, their employees, and for all of our businesses and neighbors in the city. So, you know, as I said, when this was first announced, it's our job is to make Battle Creek the best city it can be so that any person considering work in the city and or Calhoun County, um, you know, will give Battle Creek a a chance based on what we, you know, how we value our neighbors and the kind of the culture of vitality that we're trying to create um, in our community. And so I would welcome your questions. Uh, that's really my takeaway from uh, the meeting that we had with the company. It was kind of the day after they officially announced it, um, but appreciated that time. We are very fortunate and continue to appreciate the relationship we have with the company. Um, and, you know, they're not only those in the C-suite, but throughout their organization um, and really happy to continue to support them in the city. No, no differently than when they first made the announcement, you know, they, they already have a presence in Chicago, you know, with employees. So, no, we don't see that that, that will create much of a difference. We just know that legally how they structured is that um, the, uh, Kellanova will be headquartered in Chicago and WK Kellogg Co. will continue to be headquartered in Battle Creek. Uh, and, you know, they, um, Mr. K. Helene also spoke about WKKI, the research and development firm, and, you know, committed to that remaining in Battle Creek and that both companies would use, you know, that R&D facility. since the city doesn't really have a say in the new names, um, of course, Kellogg's will always be a part of their history. And I heard Mr. K. Helene say the, the same thing, which is why it was important to reference it in some way in the new names for the two companies. Um, certainly we are thrilled that WK Kellogg Co. Um, was selected for cereal um, with their presence in Battle Creek, um, but appreciate that they recognize Kellogg's as uh, an internationally known name, and they will continue to lift it up through both companies. I think you said it well. I think that has been the misconception is that, you know, the announcement of a split of the Kellogg company would just be a mass exodus, and that's just not the case. And we've heard that all the way up to their CEO, Mr. K. Helene. Um, and, and we continue to share that narrative throughout the community. So, you know, I think you nailed it. That is the biggest misconception. You know, there has been some question, you know, initially they talked about three companies and, you know, it's been refined to two. And yet, you know, that that process still needs to work itself out through the entire calendar year of 2023. So we just continue to lift that up as well as the information that the company has been very willing to share on a regular basis as they go through this process. Sure, I appreciate that. Yes, uh, you know, I think what I said in my opening comments is that we are here to support every business that's here in Battle Creek. And yes, we absolutely always lift up and respect the history we have in the cereal industry and are grateful to have both Kellogg's and Post uh, within the corporate limits of the city. But you're right, there are a lot of great economic development activities going on right now in the downtown and, you know, all throughout the county. Let's just start with Ford's announcement of the Blue Oval Campus in, campus in Marshall. Um, that has huge impact for our entire county, including Battle Creek and Marshall and others. Um, we know and everybody is anticipating probably no more than my team is the opening of New Holland, which is expected in just a few weeks. That's exciting. 
We know that the Milton has been very successful and will continue to be sex successful. We've got some other buildings that are, are businesses that are planned to open in buildings in the downtown. But we're also right now seeing um, a lot of activity at the Beckley Road corridor. I think it has a lot to do with the announcement by Ford and their Blue Ave Oval Campus. But we were already in the middle of a study of the Beckley Road corridor, both from a, a business perspective as well as a traffic perspective. Uh, so we're excited about that. And we have many housing projects that either are in the works or in the process of early pre-development that we're thrilled about. Um, you know, including the former Kmart site. We know that Horrocks will be opening their facility out at the mall on Beckley shortly um, and may run both locations in downtown and that for a period of time. We don't know, no final decision has been shared with the city about that, but we're excited, um, we're excited for that uh, opening as well. And so, you know, you'll see a combination of both community development and economic development activities. I guess the other one I want to lift up besides the McCamley Hotel, which is continuing to look wonderful. And I, you know, I know that the BCU team is working through that diligently, uh, but also the river naturalization project, the Army Corps of Engineers um, continues to study that river um, to allow us to naturalize it and consider taking out those concrete the concrete channel to make it more open to passive recreational uses, as well as reimagining the former GPI and former Ralston site as community and economic development drivers on the beautiful Battle Creek River. So we have so much going on um, and things to look forward to in our city. And we hope that the businesses here and those that are considering our community can see that as the positive signs that I think it is. I don't know how to measure my confidence, but, you know, again, I, I don't believe that there will be much change at all from what we're seeing right now. Certainly, you know, there are people based in Battle Creek and there are people based in um, Chicago from a Kellogg company perspective, but they have people based all throughout the world. And we certainly have learned through the pandemic that remote work is possible. Um, but there's also a synergy in having, you know, employees back into buildings. So again, I, you know, we don't see or feel that there's, we're going to have a, a, a great big difference because they, the Kellogg company has already been functioning like this for a while. Um, I'm often asked about the whole decision about moving snacking to Chicago, but they've had a footprint in Chicago for a long time. Um, and I think the company has been very clear about, you know, the importance of uh, snacking being there and its location to an international airport and other food type focuses. Uh, but that doesn't change those in snacking that are already in Battle Creek and based in Battle Creek. And so, no, I, I don't believe there's there's going to be much of a change from an employee base. We have we have seen many companies within Battle Creek do what they need to do to right size to fit their, you know, their model, their mission and their employee base. And, you know, I think that hap that started happening um, even before I became city manager nine years ago. You know, everybody takes a look regularly or they should be taking a look at their business plan. And how do you mobilize employees? I mean, even the city does that. And I would tell you that I wasn't sure that we could do hybrid or remote work from a governmental perspective. But um, in this talent market, you know, we have to consider all that we can to be an employer of choice. And I think that's what Kellogg's and others are doing. You know, so that's kind of what I base it on is that some of those decisions were happening and had already happened long before, you know, uh, uh, an announcement about uh, splitting the company. So that's really where I base my, you know, my perception or my opinion in that particular manner. And I think I said in June is that, you know, communities have been, um, I want to say mix doing their best to have a mixture of employ, you know, of industries within their boundaries um, because no community wants to be solely reliant on one. Um, that doesn't mean that we don't actively celebrate our history in the cereal industry. We do. Um, and a lot of the success of a cereal industry throughout the, the, the international globe has to do with a lot of work that was done right here in Battle Creek. So we certainly do lift that up, but we know that industry changes. Um, and as, as I said, as I have said before too, is that, uh, you know, people using cereal has changed. 
Not for mm -hmm. me. I still think cereal is a great dinner. If I don't want to make anything, I eat cereal. But, you know, I can't say necessarily that my 26 year old and 29 year old kids choose cereal for dinner. So, it, you know, it's just it's just how each company is looking at their base and what they do to continually evolve to meet the demand in the market, which is ever changing, not just for cereal, but in all the industries in Battle Creek, no different than, you know, Denso and Post and um, I, I Stanley and, you know, all of the companies in the fort. And I'm sure that's what Ford is going to be doing too, as they, um, as they build their battery facility in Calhoun County. No, I think that there was active engagement in um, in the community for diversifying our our base. And, you know, again, th there's all that we can do as a city and all that Battle Creek Unlimited can do is create a Battle Creek where people want to live, work, play, worship, educate all of those things. That's our focus. And I think we've been doing a very good job of that over the last 10 years. Um, and trying to move and shift with a lot of different company needs and demands and changes. So no, I wouldn't I, all, always, we could always go back and say, well, I wish I would have done that. But in this particular instance, I don't, we don't have a lot of those particular moments. I think that building the relationships with all of the businesses within the city of Battle Creek is important. And I think we're doing a better job now than we ever had. And that's the best that we can do. I'm not sure I have that number in front of me. Um, we certainly know it has fluctuated. You can, and, and I, if I had my uh, annual financial report, it's in there as far as our top 10 employers in the city. And it has changed. I think somebody asked me directly, is Kellogg's the um, largest employer in the city? And, and no, they're not anymore. Denso is. So I'm, I'm guessing it's around 2000, but again, don't quote me on that. And I'd have to go back to that source. And so these are 2022 numbers. Um, so Kellogg shows 2,000 employees, and that ranks number two behind Denso, who has 2,338. And again, these are 2022 numbers. You know, there. There has been modeling done. And again, I don't have that right in front of me. You know, certainly we knew that a development sub, such as Ford will usually draw a 50 or 60 mile radius around the development. And that is kind of their sphere of influence on where they pull their, you know, potential employees. We know Ford is estimating somewhere around 2,500 employees. And again, I think it's our job as leaders in the city of Battle Creek is that we, we you know, we want to try to attract as many of those 2,500 as possible, but every, every employee is going to have different needs, transportation, family, education, housing, all of those different needs. And for one, we want, you know, Battle Creek to be the choice, but two, we certainly want to, them to stay within Calhoun County. And I think the leaders, not only in Battle Creek, but in the county, are, we're doing all that we can to attract um, that group. I, you know, I don't really have an estimation of a percentage of that 2,500 in front of me, um, but I know that that modeling is being done or has been done, uh, and we could try to find that. I just don't have it at the, my fingertips right now. It We're always looking to be proactive rather than reactive. So, you know, I think there are some pieces already in place, Kirk, things like the Battle Creek Career Academies, the identification of potential um, employment or um, needs of students at the Battle Creek Public Schools. Certainly Kellogg Community College has a lot of programs to offer potential employees thinking about EV or battery plants. Uh, but also we rely on Michigan Works as our partner, as, as many communities do to help connect um, those seeking jobs with the jobs that are available. I think one of the great things that Battle Creek offers is specialty, specific specialty training for industry. So for example, the Regional Manufacturing Training Center um, that's in Fort Custer Industrial Park, which is um, a Kellogg Community College facility, they can actually build almost any line a company would need to train employees specifically on that line, product, et cetera. We, we believe that is a successful model that we can certainly offer 
almost immediately to Ford if that is something they're looking at to help connect skill, technical expertise, and talent to the job uh, positions that they will have opening coming to Blue Oval. Um, th there's a great partnership with Grand Valley State University um, that will just help connect a variety of workforce, um, the, the, the members in the workforce to jobs that will be offered within within Battle Creek. So, you know, we I think we have a great foundation and certainly can um, pivot to meet additional needs that Ford or anyone else in um, Battle Creek and Calhoun County would need uh, so that we can attract as many people as we can in this really very tough uh, talent market right now. Not set standalone meetings, but we have regular communications. Yes. Okay. If you saw the announcement uh, about, you know, some of the leadership that they're designating for the two companies, um, you know, we have some uh, Battle Creek focused people in that. I, I think of Stacy Flatow, um, who's been in Battle Creek her whole life. And, uh, you know, so she is one of the key positions with the WK Kellogg Co. And we will continue to work through her for that, but as well as those working through SNAC.